What's up, friends? What's good? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Chanel. I am your resident movie watching BFF. This is a channel where we're watching movies together, and I'm just letting you know what's going in my brain the whole time I'm watching them. It's pretty weird for me, too, you know? Like, you're not here, but, but yet it works. Um, I always say this, I like to watch movies from a filmmaking perspective. It's like a little bit of facts, and it's like a lot of cheering and clapping and smiles and laughter. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dating profile oh my gosh today's movie is just a continuation because I just cannot stop and I won't stop another Philip K. Dick story we did sci-fi in November and I'm just I'm not done I'm truly not done so today's video is minority report from when was this made 2002 pleasantly surprised I open up the IMDb it is a freaking Steven Spielberg movie so I couldn't I couldn't have asked for a better movie for this fine Wednesday for me. Anyway, I think it's going to be smart and that's why I picked it. I want to feel like I'm a part of the action and I want to feel like I'm just as smart as Tom Cruise figuring shit out as he goes along. And I did catch the line, the log line in his future where a special police unit is able to arrest murderers before they commit their crimes. An officer from that unit himself is accused of a future murder. Normally I wouldn't read that, but I have to be honest that my eye caught it. Therefore, I'm reading it for you. I cannot wait to see who he has doing his score. I can't wait to see that Spielbergian camera where the actor's blocking is sort of painting the picture, which is like, it's just my favorite thing that Spielberg does. So that's that on that. I know nothing about Minority Report after that except Tom Cruise. And I freaking love Tom Cruise. And this is the point in my intro where I thank the members who sit on the $15 tier on my Patreon. If you'd like to join them, Patreon information description box below. And if you're on the $15 tier, you get a special shout out. So this month we have to thank Muggy, DJ Kento, John, Cody, Christopher, Courtney, Reeve, Martin, Ethan, Tom, Hemi Changa, David, Broinkle, Brian, Sean, Grismore, Daniel, Jason, and Moto Dork. You guys rock. And if you want to join them, that would be awesome. But without further ado, stop your yak and Shan. Let's just get right into today's video, which is going to be Minority Report from 2002. Ooh, okay. You know how blind I am without them. <laughs> Murder. Based on that description from the intro, I'm assuming that this hasn't happened yet. And we've got a little memory. Or a pre-memory. Pre-crime! Look at this! Look at that strut. Any contractions? Only the ones you give me. AM, that is 24 minutes, 13 seconds from now. This is a red one. Oh, whoa. It's that up to date. Like, they've got 20 minutes. All right, Howard Marks. Where are you? We've got that washed out visual style again. Do you see this? I must have left him up in the bedroom. You are running out of time. You know how blind I am. You know how blind I am without my glasses. Oh. And I was thinking maybe I'd play hockey. Stuff. I got six licenses. Where do you want them? Over here, please. It's a symphony. Do you hear the music? I'm real. You know, I was thinking maybe I'd play hooky. Stay home today. I've been working too much anyway. All together fitting and proper. Huh? We should do this. I feel like this can't happen in 20 minutes. There's no way. Is this method fail-proof? Fail-safe? And living and dead. I have an open house here. at the wrestler place. Oh, um, she's lying. Okay, never mind. Well, I guess that's why you look so nice. No long remember what we say. Can't live without me. I got coffee. Thank you. Danny Whitworth. Colin. Streamline early Georgian details. Brick has been repointed. I was gonna say, is this like a surveillance state? That's scary, but it seems like these people just give you clues and then you still have to find it. And he's FBI, he said. So? This one he's in the right. Two timelines. Maybe it does or doesn't happen. Conflicting messages? I don't know. There you go, Oh. Uh. Do you guys notice that early 2000s movies have like the glowiest whites you've ever seen? And, and they are processing this footage in post to bring up the whites. And I know that that's true because it's super washed out. 
Let's go to bed. Babe? One minute, Chief, we're catching up to the future. Shut up, Ivana. That's so cool. We're catching up to the future. Did Marks close the front door? Check the records. Negative. The front door is open. The front door is open. Is this legal? Can you just come in? Okay, was that necessary? The ceiling thing? Guys. <laughs> I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin that was take place today, April 26th. Can we do that? Sarah! Put your hand on your head! Help me! I, want to I feel bad for him. She's the cheater. <laughs> Well, that's just an echo, uh, pre-called deja vu, if you will. Wally, erase the incoming. How do you get this job? Are you born with it? I'd like to know. Like a psychic? Pre-crime effectively stopped murder in our nation's capital. Pre-crime, it works. <laughs> you want the customary clarity or the new and improved kind of clarity? See into, see into drugs? Mr. T. Cruz, what are we taking, buddy? In the land of the blind, one-eyed man is king. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I'm pretty into that. Visual. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Well, friends, I think we've just figured out his why. Why he's in this line of work. I think his son was some sort of victim of a crime. Daddy, can you teach me how to run fast? Like that. Like that. Like that. Hi. Hi. Like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. You're a national kid. Will I be as fast as you someday? Oh, I think you'll beat me. So. No. This is Maverick. <laughs> He's the fastest man in the world. <laughs> Look, put the camera down. Okay. What? happened to them and what did he take he like inhaled a thing and i'm wondering if that was the drugs that he bought on the street or whatever he called them you understand a week from now people are going to vote on whether or not what we've been doing down here has been some noble-minded enterprise why'd you catch that because it was going to fall the fact that you prevent it from happening doesn't change the fact that it was going to happen they are convincing me you guys <laughs> So I'll be the first one to go in. Maybe you didn't hear me. If it's a question of authority, I have a warrant in my pocket that says different. Mm, boys. You're now operating under my supervision. I love giving Tom a foil. It is always fun for me. We call the female Agatha. The twins are Arthur and Dash. Are they like slaves though? Can they stop? Do they have an option to not? Hope of the existence of the divine. I find it interesting that some people have begun to deify the precogs. Yet you call this room the temple. Just a nickname. But you guys are nodding like you actually know what the hell he's talking about. But the way we work, changing destiny and all of them. They're playing God. Now I see where we're going with this. Tom's like, my wife and my kid were taken from me. You're not stopping me from doing this. Stakes are higher than ever. What does he think of your chosen line of work? I don't know. He was shot and killed when I was 15 on the steps of our church in Delma. He has a similar history. Danny Boyne, tell me exactly what it is you're looking for. Flaws. If there's a flaw, it's human. I agree. Colin Farrell. They've both experienced death, so they're excellent foes right now. Wow. <laughs> You. Oh. Okay, that actually scared me. She spoke to me. What'd you say? Can you see? Can you see? Look at how washed out and glowy. You the century? Yes, sir. I'm Gideon. I love this guy. He's such a good character actor. I'm interested in a murder. I got plenty of those. Kill type? Drowning. 
That narrows it down. Not too many in here for that one. Victims Caucasian. He's so funny that when he just says serious things, I'm laughing. <laughs> that narrows it down. Takes up a lot of space, you guys. <laughs> now that is one bad man. He drowned a woman named Ann Lively out at Roland Lake. Why was he never ID from the eye scan? On account of those are not his eyes. He had them swapped out to fool the scanners. You can get it done on the street for a few thousand bucks these days. Whoa. We got what Art saw, we got what Dash saw. But Agatha's isn't here. Anything else going on in here that's against the rules? The third prevision was what? Kind of fuzzy or no, something? No, the third prevision. Go. Oh. Gorgeous this room is with that light. I hate herbal tea almost as much as I hate honey. Lara called me. She's worried about you. Quite frankly, so am I. Lara. So I'm guessing his wife just left him then. Had pre crime been in place just six months earlier, the loss you and Lara suffered would have been prevented. People trust you, John, when you speak of your absolute belief in pre crime. Look what the camera's doing. It's moving in. Hi, Daddy. Hey, little buddy. I made up a club. Yeah? Daddy's in a lot of trouble, Sean. How does he know? Show me the name. Oh, Leo. Well, the victim's name is Leo Crow. This is case number 1109. Are the witnesses ready to preview and validate number 1109? I love how they play it for witnesses. Just to keep some integrity about it. In, uh, hi, oh. <laughs> She's laughing. So we've got a third party. He's about to watch himself commit a crime. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You're not gonna kill me. <laughs> He's We got time on this one, Jed. Mind going down and getting me a piece of cake they're eating down there? He's got witnesses, Tom Cruise. Show me, show me, show me. John! Well, do you stand by this now, a little bitch? Goodbye, Crow. Your father's been nice to me. Jail time. Who even is Leo Crow? You set me up. I'll write the paranoia off to the whiff you've been doping on. Don't me. You think it'll alone cost you six months? Not to mention your badge. How did he figure this out? How did he set him up? He set me up, just quick. He set me up. Leo Crow. Oh, is he? I have no idea. I've never heard of him. But I'm supposed to kill him in less than 36 hours. Is Leo Crow the John Doe who drowned the woman? Everybody runs. <laughs> Tom's given us his best Mission Impossible. Show me, show me. I can't wait to look up the composer. I hate that I don't know it. 2002, we're in our CGI era. Ugh, nailed it. Away, John Anderton. Forget your troubles. Is that all in his head that they're saying his name? He's about to get flagged. Why did he do that? You don't have to run. Everybody runs, Fletch. You know we'll catch you. I've heard that before. Everybody runs. <laughs> Ew. What the hell was that? Just threw up. <laughs> it's sci-fi Mission Impossible. Sick. And we know Tommy Boy definitely did these stunts. Oh, some Spider-Man <laughs> You guys, I spent a lot of time as a kid wishing I had a jetpack. And it's all thanks to Spy Kids. I just want you to know that. Love a flame broiled burger. Hitting us with that comedy here. In pre-crime division, I'm placing you under arrest. <laughs> Go to sleep. Yes, 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 yes. Good sequence. Go to sleep. What are these things? Like sonic, sonic guns? And I know Colin Farrell's character wants to shut it down, but why go after just the one man? Like, why not the whole unit? He's trying to personally victimize John. Hand to hand, baby. 
wow, they are adding like whimsy to these sequences. It's not pure serious, you know? So cool. Whip it around. <sighs> Blinded. Ugh, the ending with a symphony. I guess we can guess, is it John Williams? Where are those blinding, blinding skies? Okay, he could be at his ex-wife's. Oh, I'm afraid that would be from the doll's eye, the vine, the baneberry that scratched you during your illegal climb over my wall. It's not a true during your illegal climb over my wall. If the unintended consequences of a series of genetic mistakes and science gone haywire can be called invention, yes, then I invented Precron. Ugh, she regrets it. That the real nightmare was that these so-called dreams were about to come true. These murders were actually happening. I'm not gonna commit murder. Doesn't matter, it's a perfect system, huh? But occasionally, they do disagree. Ugh. Oh. What? Our hope. Only hope. Why didn't I know about this? Because these minority reports are destroyed to the instant they occur. Minority report. I'm saying that every so often, those accused of a pre-crime might just might have an alternate future. Does Lamar Burgess know about the minority report? Of course, he knew. But what about those people that I put away with alternate futures? Yeah. I felt like the guy in the first scene wasn't gonna kill his wife. Not even the old man who just wants to hang on to what he created. Don't trust anyone. Just find the minority report. Okay, where is it? <laughs> Come on, lady. Inside the precog who predicted it. What is happening? Download this minority report and then walk out. Actually, I think you have to run out, but yes, that is what you have to do. <laughs> Actually, you probably have to run out. <laughs> Is this woman, does she want to see the system come down or not? I thought she regretted it. Now she's like f***ing with him. Creature on the face of the earth is interested in one thing and one thing only. Blood. It's on survival. That's what I was going to say. Find the minority report. <sighs> it's the titular report. It's always in the more gifted of the three. My bet's on Agatha. The female. Duh. All right, here's where we're at. We concentrate on the sprawl. We do flyovers and ships with two spider teams on the ground. Why won't he just run? Because he thinks he's innocent. Hmm. All I'm trying to tell you is that I'll have to remove your eyes completely. I know that, but I want to keep the old ones. Why? Because my mother gave them to me. Because my mother gave them to me. Look at all the canted angles in this scene. Let me introduce my gorgeous assistant, Miss Van Eyck. She's scary. He hasn't tried to contact you. No. You ever heard him mention the name Leo Crow? No, but then I don't talk to John that much anymore. I love Spielberg's blocking. Look, he just leaves the camera alone. He doesn't cut in. All of these. Until he has to. How long to. has he been doping? Since right after we lost our son. Boom. You mean after he lost? Boom. Lamar Burgess thinks you left John because he lost himself in pre-crime instead of you. I left him because every time I looked at him, I saw my son. Fair. Don't take the bandages off for 12 hours. Cannot wait to see these new eyes, baby. If you take him off before then, you'll go blind. Understand? This is a temporary parallel with again, son. It's going to turn your purity phase into mush. Leftovers. Leftovers. When it rings tomorrow, you can take off the bandages and get the hell out of here. But not before then or you'll go oh, blind. Did you like how in Blade Runner when Ryan Gosling killed that man, he took his eyes and that's how they were IDing people? So I guess this is maybe Philip K. Dick's writing. Using the eyeballs as ID. How long can a whale hold its breath underwater? Yeah, welcome. The dream lighting is a lot warmer. You guys see this? We gotta beat the whale. Oh, this pool is so crowded. I am, that's a no for me. I'm leaving. I'm peacing out. Someone take him. Sean? Have you seen? It's not his fault. 
When you babysit and you almost lose the kid, man, it's like the worst feeling alive. Nope, 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 not that one. No, it was Spielberg. Why is there two choices? How fitting that this is what's playing. 27 warm bodies. Roger that, confirm 27 warm bodies. What do you think, four spiders, one per floor? Cool. I'm such a gadget girl. <laughs> oh my god. Are we at the 24 hour mark? Resume. Okay, warm bodies. So if he cools himself down, they won't want to scan his eyes. Get in, T. Cruz. I always wanted to do these like ice plunge things. We know Tom Cruise can hold his actual breath, though. Oh, sh No. This kind of became a, ch a runaway movie rather than a mystery. This is very the fugitive, right, guys? Has it been 24 hours? No, he's got six hours. In a world of the blind, the one-eyed man sees. It's not him. Standing down. Let's see. <sighs> Lost one eye. That's okay. Great job. Great job, everybody. <laughs> That's the end of that sequence. <laughs> Why do you do that there in public? My mom wouldn't let me go upstairs and eat in my room. She made me sit down. Keeping these people prisoner is so ridiculous. Uses these eyes to get in, security clearance. But his face is all jacked up. So then he gets to hide. Are you kidding me? This movie got jokes. Shut the f up. They did not have to do me like that. They didn't, they didn't remove his security clearance either. It's hilarious. <laughs> I love this. Are these all of her previsions? We're winding her right now. Let's go, download this minority report. Can you see? <sighs> T. Cruzy. She's coming with me. It's all three for their predictive abilities to work. She's the one they listen to, the one with the most talent. She's the best one. Of course the woman takes care of the men. Dad, put everything you've got into finding that room when we stop a murder. We've got 51 minutes. Maybe the crow murder is the one murder that keeps the program alive. And he is like, keep it alive no matter what. The shivers is the drugs we gave you. She wear off soon. She needs to be free. I'm tired of the future. <laughs> Honestly, same. I'm so tired of the future. Gap is still alive and kicking in the future. Welcome back to the Gap. How those assorted tank tops work out for you? <laughs> Mr. Yakamoto. <laughs> oh, God. Perfect match. Hey, Miss Belford, did you come back for another pair of those shammy lace ups? Yo, the gap is spilling your secrets, what you came there for. Hey, Chanel, how are those sports bras treating you? <laughs> Who's Rufus T. Riley? Rufus's face? I'm dead. He seems fun. Let's spend some time with Rufus. I'm impressed, Anderton. You're on the lamb and you still have the time and energy to slice off a little jerky for yourself. That's She's right. a freak out. <laughs> Look at the glow. Got a lot of overhead light on them. Do the hack into her. 
Hacky hacky. I get to keep whatever images I get from her head. They don't belong to anybody. Take her to Radio Shack. That didn't age well. I think Radio Shack's gone gone. <laughs> yeah, recording. Goodbye, Crow. Of course you have you have a snazzy last word, Tom Cruise. What happened? I don't know. What happened? There is no minority report. You do it, bro. You do it. He does it. He Where's definitely my... does it. Minority report. Do I even have one? <laughs> Can you see? You want me to see who killed Dad Lively? Does he have eyes? Motherfucker. Just want to go like this when you watch this movie. He drops his briefcase. Oh, she's good. That's convenient. Drop some money. It's like the butterfly effect. Oh. We recognize him. Look at the register. Yeah, I mind. I bet now. Help yourself. Help yourself. Crow. You have a choice. Walk away. Do it now. I can't. I have to know. I have to find out what happened. Oh, look at this. Coolest two shot alive. <laughs> Woman with the pipe. It's getting interesting. They are not helping me prefigure this out. Oh, he's into children. Took his son too, probably. Oh, God. My son. For the last six years, I've thought about only to, if I would recognize him if I saw him on the street. And? The second is what I would do to the man who took him. Kill him. I'd kill him. There is no minority report. I don't have an alternate future. I am going to kill this man. Oh, shit. Did I? I don't know. I don't remember anything. Tell me you where is he? I put him in the barrel. I sunk him. I flew him back up. I took him out. I was, I was chill. Killed him. This is, this is the one reason that he'd kill. They nailed it. Does he do it? No, I think he doesn't. Don't, 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 don't. Break it. Oh, I just got chills everywhere because that ruins his program. The program just evaporates. I just got chills everywhere. You're supposed to kill me. You said you would. Oh my god, they set this guy up. You told me I'd be released if I went along and my family would be taken care of. If you did what? Pretended. If I acted like I killed your kid. Okay? If you I was gonna say, we still have a half hour left of this movie. And Colin Farrell has just proven that this program isn't good. Who was it? Set this up. I don't know. Colin Farrell. Goodbye, Carl. Anderson, wait a second. Oh, sh he pulled it on himself. This is what we'd call an orgy of evidence. No many orgies I had as a homicide cop, Gordon. How many? This is what we call the evidence I planted. I hate that guy. This was all arranged. Protection team simply didn't get there in time to stop the murder. I was gonna say, where was the team at the mi the minute it went down? They should have all been there, crashing that party. This is the murder of a woman named Anne Lively. Look at the surface wind across the water. The ripples are moving the other way. This murder is taking place at two different times. Just tell me what you're thinking. Yeah. 
All you'd have to do is hire someone to kill Anne Lively, someone like a drifter, a neuroin addict, someone with nothing to lose. Technician takes a look, thinks he's looking at an echo, erases it. Hmm. You've been framed for pre-murder. Crazy. This movie's getting wild. Do you know what I hear? Why is this guy getting shady now? Lamar. He's getting scary. Because right now, the precogs can't see a thing. I thought he was the bad guy, Colin Farrell, but it was old Shady. Fuck. That's so scary. Jeez. Has he got the precog with him? Yes. We don't trust Lamar anymore. Lara. Please don't tell Danny Whitworth. I don't trust him. <laughs> Mother. They tricked me. I didn't trust Danny either. So I gotta sit down. I gotta figure this out. Same, Tom. Same. We all have to figure this out together. I'm in it with you. So are you guys at home? <laughs> You're like, Sean, we've seen this already. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but why would they set you up? Because I found out about her. Oh, as soon as he finds out about Anne Lively, that's when he gets set up. He's on the beach now. He's asking you to come in with him. I'm getting sad. He wants to be a vet. You keep a rabbit for him. He's in high school. She's giving him a future. Like his father. He runs the two mile and the long relay. He calls here and tells Lara who cries. He's running so fast. There was so much love in this house. I want him back so bad. I was not expecting this. She didn't die, but she's not alive. Agatha. Anne. Who killed your mother? Who killed Anne Lively? Oh, it's her mom. <laughs> I was just getting. Sentimental. I'm placing you under arrest for the murders of Leo Crow and Danny Whitworth. Oh my gosh, they framed him on Danny too? You're a part of my flock now, John. <laughs> Missed him. Missed him so much. John finally found the man who killed your son. Who's Anne Lively? I'm freaking out. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna kill her now? And uh, I'll, I'll have Gideon run the containment files. See if anyone drowned a woman by the name of... of, of uh, what, did you, what did you say her name was? I never told you she drowned. But I never said she drowned. <laughs> run, 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 Laura. I'd like a word with my husband. How did she get those? I don't remember him leaving them for her. She, it was in the box. It was in the box of, um, it was like an evidence box, right? How did you get this? I padded your expense account for six months. Ha 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 ha. Corruption jokes. Hello. Uh, yes. Guess who? And she wanted her daughter back. She wanted Agatha. <gasps> the problem was, without Agatha, there was no pre-crime. She's always been the strongest of the three. You dirty, rotten snake. Dad, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chad, Chad, what are you doing with that? Whoa, whoa, Chad. Chad, what are you doing? Play it, play it. Public humiliation. Public confession. You lured and likely out to the lake with the promise of reuniting her with her daughter. I was waiting for that. You killed her yourself, knowing the tech would do what he was trained to do. Disregard it. Get rid of it. Huh, Minority Report was here to trick us. This whole time we thought that's what we were chasing. So, 
What are you gonna do, Lamar? Yeah, Lamar. Yeah, arrest yourself. <gasps> oh no. Think about all the lives you will save. That little girl. He's gotta kill John now. Keep it going. You used the memory of my dead son to set me up. That was the one thing you knew that would drive me to murder. Mm hmm What? How does it go down? Who kills who? Lamar kills John. Unless the goons get there. You see the dilemma, don't you? If you don't kill me, precogs were wrong and pre-crime is over. All you have to do is kill me. Like they said you would. Does he do it? Yes. I have a choice. And I made it. Look how cool. Look how cool this looks. Shoots himself. Knew it. <laughs> got it. You just gotta cheers it. You gotta cheers it, you know? Whew. In 2054, the six year pre crime experiment was abandoned. Yeah, not even John's a believer anymore because he changed his own future. All prisoners were unconditionally pardoned and released. This movie gives me, so like, only Spielberg can give me these full body chills. I don't know why. <gasps> Are they having another baby? Chills on my face, chills on my neck. Agatha and the twins were transferred to an undisclosed location. <sighs> I'm not being dramatic. I have so many chills. Literally the last time I had this many chills was the color purple. What the f***? Based on the short story by Philip K. Dick. We'll give an applause for that. John Williams. It was Johnny. That would have been my top guess. Okay, let's talk about it. You guys, Minority Report from 2002. I have now seen it. And wow. Okay, where to begin? I really enjoyed that. I was freaking tricked. Okay? And I don't appreciate it. Don't appreciate it. This movie was kind of what I expected in that I wanted it to feel smart and I wanted to feel like I was putting it together, but they kept me way more in the dark than I'm used to. Sometimes in movies, you're figuring it out before the character. You're figuring it out with the character. With this one, they were keeping things pretty hidden for me and you're only finding out about it the moment that... John is Tom Cruise so in that regard they buried they buried the tricks for me I loved the fake out okay I was like Colin Farrell's the bad guy here he's the foe he's trying to shut down the program what's the one thing that will get John to kill finding the killer of his son boom there we go we're in John I love that you can control your own future I love that message he stops it and then um, as soon as Colin Farrell is like acting, you know, after that he's acting like, oh, we still got to find out, you know, the Anne, what's her face? Anne something thing. I keep wanting to call her Anne Lamott because that's a writer, but we have to figure out the Anne drowning. And I'm like, come on, Colin Farrell, you're, f you're such a faker. Like you're the bad guy. Nope. It was other guy with bad face, which is very funny. Um, what's that actor's name? Because he is evil in so many movies. Let me get it. Yeah, Max von Sydow. So um, what did I write down? I mean, I love that Spielberg blocking. There was also some really cool like handheld camera in this. There was, e there was everything, okay? This movie had everything. I love that Spielberg camera. A lot of canted angle work. Those really blown out whites. And the blue hue is very sci-fi. It's very painting that picture. It's very Philip K. Dick. <laughs> Even though Philip K. Dick had been dead a long time by this point, he's still being credited, obviously, with his short story. Such a cool moral dilemma, right? Can you lock somebody up before they've committed a crime? In, basically, in short, playing God. You know I love themes like this. Calling it the temple. Phrasing, framing Agatha as, like, the chosen one. Um, you know, that she was always kind of glowy and white. I'm shocked beyond belief by the emotion they were able to get out of me when Agatha was able to give their son a future. I was like, oh my god. Because, yeah, his future also was not set in stone. You know, there was another one. 
or I don't know, maybe I'll find out in the trivia that she was just doing that to be nice. I don't know. And I wrote down composer, but it was our guy, John Williams. They just, I just wrote down, they don't let you get too ahead of Tom Cruise in this movie. You're just right there with him. And for that, I have to say, great job. Also kind of cool that it's named Minority Report. And about halfway through, we find out we're kind of chasing a Minority Report. But that was red herring. Totally not really about the Minority Report. In terms of budget, I'm going to call it 100 million. Okay, the budget was 102 million. And we'll just go straight to some trivia because freaking why not? Okay, so that was a weird moment. Dr. Iris Hinneman kisses Tom Cruise in her greenhouse. That was not scripted. Tom's reaction is of genuine surprise. Tom and Steven Spielberg agreed to waive their usual salary to keep the budget under $100 million. They each agreed to take 15% of the film's gross instead. It's probably a safe bet. Whoa, for the scene where Anderton holds his breath in the bathtub, Spielberg was going to create the air bubble rising with CGI, but Tom Cruise took the time and learned how to do it himself. Ah, this is what we wanted to know. Cinematographer Janusz Kaminski... Janus, Janus Kaminsky. Hey, I'm so sorry if I butcher this. Did a bleach bypass on the film, effectively skipping the bleaching of the silver halide crystals in the film in order to create the desaturated silver tinted colors. Yeah, so that was a post effect, which it was everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Whoa, I won't read this full fact, but three years before production began, Spielberg assembled a team of 16 future experts to brainstorm out the year 2054. Whoa, the cinematographer Kaminsky um, often works with Spielberg. When Spielberg approached him for this film, he told him to create the ugliest, dirtiest movie either of them had ever made. Spielberg doesn't really do ugly or dirty, can I be honest with you? I mean, no way. No way. Spielberg only does beauty. It's probably the ugliest, dirtiest he's ever made, but he does nothing but gorgeous work. Maybe he meant in terms of like blowing out those whites or really just like making it look not perfect in that regard, but even so, it's like style open the same weekend as lilo and stitch which sold more tickets however because of the bulk of those tickets were for children and at half price minority report was able to claim the number one spot at the box office that's so funny the adaptation of the short story the minority report by philip k dick was originally planned as a sequel to total recall by the writers of the total recall movie shoe sit and gary goldman the setting was changed to mars with the precogs being people mutated by the martian atmosphere as established in the first film the main character was also changed to Douglas Quaid. Project eventually fell apart. Cool. Well, that would explain the Ronald Shusit. I think he produced on this. I think you saw me watch the credits and see, recognize that name. Remember how much we loved that shot? The shot of Agatha collapsed over John Anderson's shoulder was concocted by Spielberg during Samantha Morton's first day on set. He wanted her and Tom Cruise posed in an embrace as a screen test, liked the shot so much that he came up with a moment to include it in a scene. That was gorgeous. I just want to try this for me. At around 22 minutes, apparently, Colin Farrell had a lot of trouble delivering the line, I'm sure you all understand the legalistic drawback to pre-crime methodology. And that was probably because of his accent. That seems hard. <laughs> it's funny that I I don't know much about music. Like I'm not, you know, super in-depth, but I kept calling the precog vision manipulating scenes. I kept calling them a symphony. And the music in the background is Franz Schubert's Symphony Number no. 8 in B minor, also commonly known as the Unfinished Symphony. So... Similarities to Blade Runner 1982. Both main characters are law enforcers with drug abuse issues. They both live in overcrowded rainy cities. Both are instigated by other law enforcers. The eyes play important roles in both plots. Mm -hmm. The film's climax, Anderton and Deckard face their enemies. And then both of the latter die in their, on their own terms. I kind of wanted to know if the future that Agatha concocts is like an alt future i guess it must be like why would it not be the titular minority report ends up being a red herring we said that similarities to the fugitive i did mention that i felt like we were running there's a whole um, thing in the trivia about the similarities to fugitive i'm not going to read them this is amazing okay all right i was just trying to look up about agatha's future for his son some guys online say that, um, who've read Philip Dick, Dick's stories typically focus on the fragile nature of what is real and the construction of personal identity. His stories often become real fantasies as the main characters slowly dis discover that their everyday world is actually an illusion constructed by powerful external entities. So there is no single objective reality. So I think Agatha, you know, basically saying he's in high school, he likes to run like his father, he runs the two mile like that is Philip K. Dick's story coming through there just being like there is no one set in stone reality or future. But the speech 
the precog gives oh some people say it's the unborn son oh whoa i didn't even think of that i thought she was giving his dead son a future i don't think she was talking about sean because she only sees the future right so maybe the precog was predicting their future child the one his wife was pregnant with at the end of the movie it's a little mystery okay whoa so what was your guys's take on that was agatha saying sean's future or john's future son's future Okay, I feel really good about that. Um, so you have now seen my reaction to Minority Report, and now I want to hear from you. Comment below. Where were you when you first caught this movie? Did you read the original novella by Philip K. Dick? What do you think? How did this movie stack up in terms of other sci-fis that you've seen and the other movie adaptations of Philip K. Dick novels? So don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. It really supports me and what I'm trying to do here on the channel. But on that note, I'm going to go eat.